Okay, so this this uh, button here that looks like a stack of paper um, or stack of cards is to switch between windows. So there may be times when you have multiple versions of the browser open, which is not, not too uncommon. And if I push that key, it'll bring the other one to the front and it'll switch back and forth. And so if I have three instances of the browser open, that will uh, toggle between the, the different instances. And then next to that, we have the uh, the brightness and dimness key. So the uh, the little snowflake will make the, the screen dimmer, and the big one will make it brighter. Okay. So if you're you're in a darkened room, you're taking notes on a on a, a video that's being shown by the teacher, you may want to uh, darken the screen a little bit, and that'll save your battery too. Next to that, you have the audio keys. Um, so the first one will turn the speaker off, um, and then you have uh, one to turn the speaker lower and one to turn it higher. And then next to that is the power key. So if you're going to shut down your... Glass. Um, that is actually programmable. You can go into the settings and make that a, a shift lock key, which is not on the, the keyboard. You notice the shift key, but no shift lock. Um, so you can go into settings and reprogram that. Um, and then down at the bottom, you have the control alt, the space bar, okay, and then the, uh, the arrow keys. Um, below that, you have the touchpad. And the touchpad uh, is also your left click button. So if I want to click, I just push down on it and that, that clicks whatever I'm trying to get to, like a link on the web. Um, there is no right click on there. Um, you can do it with two fingers or you can hold down the alt key and click and that brings up the right click menu on the screen. Okay, so just a little... Uh, little tip there for using the keyboard.